Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we are going to be checking out the genetically modified overkill mod once again that lets you combine two characters together, all the positives and all of the negatives, to make a brand new one. Today, we're going to be going for a double ghost run. I don't think this is going to make us invincible. I'm pretty sure our cap is still going to be 90, but we're going to be immediately at 60% dodge, have tons of flat damage, and terrifyingly, we are also going to have minus 200 more armor. Uh, so, <laughs> don't get hit is kind of the idea. But the main reason I wanted to go for this kind of uh, this play here is I've not played the ghost on um, the new patch, you know, that has like all of the dodge based items. I would love the tree, but man. So I think that that'd be a lot of fun to see. Uh, do I take a 5% attack speed? I think I take a 5% attack speed right now. And then, I don't really, don't really want to take a melee damage down, but more dodge is good. It's going to be a very important factor, certainly. So I, I might actually take that. Max HP is going to be really important. Is it worth... Uh, okay, we don't we don't roll again there. I think I'm gonna take peaceful B though, because we do want that uh, that extra dodge. We would love some harvest thing. Why not? I think we can take a penalty of one melee damage, considering we have plus twenty. We can think of it like we have plus twenty melee damage right now, like straight up. We could just look at it that way. Uh, with the plus uh, twenty on ooh ethereal, that's not even that much damage right now, but. It's going to be. <laughs> when, when we're increasing our one damage up, it's going to be not that much. But uh, certainly soon, when enemies are maybe doing like 30 or 40 or whatever the hell, it is going to get really gross really, really fast. Um, where the hell? Like, the Ghost Scepter is cool, but I it just always runs into issues with crowds. Like, if I could guarantee on this run that we would get Bandana and we would get it early, I would take Ghost Scepter in a heartbeat. Because I know I said, I want help. And then I didn't take the Ghost Scepter. Like, I get the irony, the, the you know, presumed irony of that statement. But I just unfortunately think Ghost Scepter is not, it's just not great. It's not great. I want to increase my attack speed out the wazoo and go absolutely wild. Uh... Elemental damage crits. Crit could be good. Armor is completely pointless. I'll take some melee there. It's wave four. Lumberjack shirt is good and all, but like... Fine, I'll get... Oh, come on. Okay, we're getting pretty mediocre luck until now. Uh, wave four, six ethereal weapons is a little bit suspect. Like, we might be not getting... Um, we may maybe are missing out on like... 3% damage that we could get if we combine them all. I'm not that worried about it. I don't think that it's going to be that big of a deal. I think that we just need to... Ooh, God, I'm so glad that dodged. What are we at? Oh my God, we're already capped. We're already capped. We're already at 93. Okay, I had no idea that we were going to cap so fast. Why did we cap so fast? I mean, I know we had the 60 and all, but... We gotta make it so we have more HP. That's very, very important. Um, I guess I'm even gonna just take the flat, flat HP there. Crit chance. I'll certainly take some crit chance. I, I, what not, I don't want it. I don't. I don't. I don't want to play that game right now. But I feel like I'm supposed to. I'll take an ugly tooth so it stops showing up. You know, trimming your trimming your pool is is good enough, and also it does make mini bosses and bosses quite a bit easier. I find if you have runs where you do like a decent amount of damage and you're very much going to potentially be able to kill, it's a very good tool to have. Ghost Flint has a one to one, yeah, yeah, good. It's just a uh, it's a slightly suboptimal weapon. Like that's just. That's the ghost weapons for you. They're kind of suboptimal, but they ooh, they give you like good raw stats. The issue with this is I'm not really looking for reposts 
as much as I'm going to be looking for... Um, I'll take some more crit chance. Mm, yep. As much as I'm going to be looking for... What's the other one? Um, not insanity. I can't think of it off the top of my head. The heal five on dodge. That one's going to be a little bit more interesting if I could find that. Sure, I'll take the bait. What could go wrong? Ghost Flint upgrade. Sure. But yeah, I've not played Ghost in this updated version of the game. Thank God for those dodges. They could kill. They could. Like, now that we're in a situation where enemies are doing... They could be doing like 10 damage normally. We gotta bump that up by... Like two times at the very least. Imagine Peacock as well. If we get Peacock and then we get hit, we die. Hell, I don't know if I've ever... Um, I think I've played Ghost while Tardigrade exists. But I did not get Tardigrade on that run. I would consider it like a best-in-slot item. Because it procs after your dodge. Which is really, really cool. Uh, definitely taking Cute Monkey for if we do get that hit. It's important to fix up the penalty immediately. Mm. Don't need any more dodge. I'll take another cute monkey, I guess. Statue. No, but I will take an alien worm. Basically, just anything that stops us from being one shot is really important. Literally, just if I can get two shot, we're, we're golden. It's going to be a weird run where we spend lots of money on a stat that I hopefully never use. Oh my god. A lot of money on a stat I hopefully do not ever see become valuable. But that, you know, peace of mind is a valuable stat as well, right? You gotta think about your mental state, right? What do we have for attack speed? 22. That's pretty good. Considering, I think we've maybe bought 5. Okay, risking it a bit. Oh boy. Get the tree, get the tree, get the tree. Move towards the tree, thank you. Alright. 12% damage, absolutely. We might as well take sunglasses, right? Like, <laughs> just might as well. Uh, I'll take a Cyclops Worm. I'll take a coffee, even though we're going to be stacking up uh, our attack speed. Doesn't mean it's bad to get a free 10% basically like, uh, I don't know, two waves worth of progress now, and having more attack speed actually works to give us even more attack speed. Kind of, right? You know what I'm saying? Where if we attack faster, we're more likely to get more stacks, and thus, maybe we get more attack speed at the end of the run. Ooh, that could have been bad. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a one-shot, if it hit, but we are... We're pushing it, man. We are absolutely pushing it, man. Some speed will be important as well. To actually get some of these dodges off manually instead of just hoping. Risky business. Oh! Okay. That was a bullet that did that. That was a bullet that did that. I'm going for the attack speed instead of the health. I know. Uh, the fact that that was a bullet's worth of damage is all the proof I need to know that, yeah, I could probably be one-shot. I think getting a ghost axe in here would be really good. Ooh. This should be an amazing way for us. Always has been on ethereal weapon runs. But yeah, getting the axe, I think, um, is going to be a good pivot at this point. I find that the sweeping motion is really good, on top of the fact that I need some percentage damage scaling, right? We have a bit of diminishing returns on the attack speed, in a way. So we need to start working on a different stat. Okay. Oh, listen to that go. Listen to that go. Listen to that baby purr. Three, eight seconds left. No, I never want this wave to end. I never want this wave to end. Please. Please. Oh, it's beautiful. I will take a Shady Potion. I'm not going to take a Leather Vest. It, it actually has, like, no point. 
12%. Sure. I'll take 9% speed. Coupon, insanity. Combine a ghost flint and get the axe. I'm going to combine another flint and get another axe. Yeah. Tentacle is super worth. I'm going to combine another flint and get another axe. Scar sounds good. All right, because yeah, at 82% attack speed, I think we're good to start stacking up some uh, some percentage damage. Does a little bit more, you know. Not, not even that much more. So much of our damage is coming from flat that the ghost axe isn't even that much stronger. Interesting. It's nice to have a unique, different pattern in there, though. Like... You know, I think that the sword, the passive that it has, you know, where you can swing and then you pierce. I find that to actually be a positive buff to the item often. So in that case, having ooh, one piercing, one uh, sweeping is probably good. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Minus 200 armor, no problem. Just remember, you got... You lost half your health to a bullet, the lowest damage thing in the game. So... Oh, God. Don't beef it. Repost, I'm happy to have it. I'm happy to have it. I hope not to use it. Insanity, good. Sunglasses, good. It's, it's weird, like, it sounds stupid, like, completely stupid to, uh, potentially ooh, increase my armor, but it's hard to explain. It wouldn't be as bad as it seems. Thank God for that dodge. That is definitely in the realm of something that could actually be a kill. Uh, oh! Please kill this guy. Give me, give me the crate. Thank you. Oh, okay. So I'm not one shotable. I've taken enough health to not be one shotable. Unless that was also a bullet, but I don't think it was. If it was the ground attack from the mini boss, it is not as strong as a mummy hit. So mummies are potentially one shot, but I don't think anything else is. Maybe a charger. I can't remember. Oh, that's so good. That is such a good find. Give me 15 luck. There's adrenaline. That's a really good find. I mean, we're tagged for dodge. We should be finding this stuff. Hunting trophy's great. Take a snail. Laka. Maybe, maybe Laka? Are we at 100 crit yet? No. Not even close. Not even freaking close. This is a very fun run, though. The very scary fun run. Attack speed is at 118. Damage percentage is at 57. Rookie numbers, let's get that up. We'll want to um, replace one of our ghost shivs, ideally. Ideally, I find a common ghost shiv. Eh, it's not going to happen. Because we have a blue one in the shop. We combine the blue and the with the blue we have. Oh my god, and then we combine the two purples, and then hopefully find a, like, you know, another ghost axe, I say. Pivoting into that would be better. We are we're destructive. We are terrifying. Oh. Oh. I'm not taking it. Alienize... No, we don't want anything that's going to be stealing from our... Uh... Oh, yeah. See, this is why I hate... Oh, God. What's my range? It's pretty bad. I... Yeah, of course, there's the common flint. Really nice. We should be tagged for the hoodie, too, for what it's worth. It might be worth um, 
it's almost certainly going to be worth buying some or getting some range up from a level up. Bullet guys got to go. They are of concern to me. I'm not really looking forward to the, the host waves. It's kind of like a bullet spam. But the thing is, we're also not going to probably be one shot from those. Damage ramps up like crazy, and I have not taken that much health upgrades. Oh my god. I'm, I could not have gotten, I think, a better run for the stomach. Or a run that needs it more, rather. Getting it that early is so good. Dash movement. Dash movement. You can... Can't say that we're uh, playing it safe. I'll take a spicy sauce there. I'll take the range up. Wheat. Could drop a little bit of dodge. It doesn't really matter. Take the wheat. Sunglasses. I'll get the sunglasses. Mini boss. Oh, yes. This should be easy. Probably not one shot by the ground attacks, but I don't want to find out. Okay. All right. What do we get for this legendary? Grinds magical leaf. <laughs> can we get? Can we get that? Or can you get two stomachs? No, it's unique. Uh, the patch that it was released, it was not unique. Which is absurd. Uh. Okay. Love that we got the repost and everything for, like, backups. But this is a scary situation, and I don't really want to have to use those. Our melee damage probably leaves a little bit to be desired as well, I'd guess. Yeah, we have seven. All right, what's it going to be? I'll take that. Oh, that's our legendary? I don't want it. I'd actually, I actually just don't want it. Some more crit chance sounds good. Sunglasses, good. We might as well take Gummy Berserker, I, I, I guess. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. I'm going to take literally both. <laughs> I'll get the defective steroids as well. Oh, boy. Percentage damage is up to 99. Attack speed is up to 162. No hoodie. Range is back to positive. Okay, good. If there was a, you know, a gummy berserker ooh, run, it would probably be this one. What's that explosion? We have... Oh. Spicy sauce. Would I even... I don't know if I'd technically want... Rip and tear. Like, I'd want it if it was wave, like, 19. But technically, it'd probably be a bad item before then. I'll tell you, what I want more than anything in the entire freaking world is a tardigrade. Oh my god. I feel like I could sleep a lot easier if we got one of those. Because it does not proc until you fail the dodge. That's the beautiful thing about it. Show me one. I don't need it. I'll take it. I don't need it. Crit chance. We're not capped yet. These only these have 1% crit chance at a base. Fine, I can take it. Bandana, Ghost Axe. Uh, this could be my pivot on the Ghost Flint. I'll do it. Explosive turret is hilarious. Two luck for every crit chance you have, minus armor that I don't care about. Sounds good. Uh, we're still dodge capped if I take this. Yeah, that's 154 luck. Why does that item exist in its current form? I don't know, but I'll take it. Like, they made crit items, they. Blobfish made crit items so good. And honestly, I hope that it's... I, like, I don't want them to get nerfed. I don't think they've been made too good. Because they're kind of like... 
they're kind of like crit in a way where it's they're only really strong if you've leaned into it heavily you know and then they get stupid stupid strong and I feel like if you're getting luck from a legendary item it should be really strong right I think that because like if it's showing up it's probably getting to be kind of late in the run you know wave 16 luck on wave 16 is not nearly as important as luck on wave 1 it's gonna help us get those food drops but we're probably good on those regardless yeah probably should have done that uh okay the second i get hoodie i'm gonna regret those but i don't know if i'm getting hoodie I don't know if we should build build around the idea that we definitely are. And I don't think I want to go for Cyberball. Unless, I don't know, it's gonna, the thing is it steals from me. Mm. I think there's enough kills. I think there's enough kills to go around. Oop. Oh god, I'm glad that that was a dodge. Could have been a. Nah, I think it's. I don't think we get one shot by that stuff anymore. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We do. I think we could get two shot. That hit was from I think a host bullet. I think that was from a host bullet. Could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. The luck items, the luck kill items, are definitely cannibalizing some of my stacks, but. I think on wave 17, you can stop caring about that. Truthfully, we should maybe pivot out of ghost items in general. But they're also responsible for much of my dodge. And I've trashed myself all the way back down to 90%. Ah, uh, this is silly. Crit chance down. I'm gonna say nah. I'll take a potato, I suppose. Percentage damage, why not? Uh, cape would have been cooler earlier. Oh, and then I guess we took the, uh, the food anyways. Hmm. Can you still pay for yourself? I'm curious. I'm just, just, just a, just a challenge for you. Uh, sure. A little bit silly, but I'll take it. All right, we're good. How much does this give me? Hopefully I'm just, oh, we missed three apparently. Missed three HP from it somehow. Must have been a run where we took a hit or a wave where we took a hit and then we actually used up all the food. But adrenaline, I'm, gl I'm glad to have it as a whoopsie, you know, things go awry. Surprised by how few reposts have showed up. Again, not really something I want to utilize. You'd think it'd be good because you have lots of dodge, but you have to remember the penalty for failing that 90% chance is abysmal. If I had some uh, some Tardigrade show up, then maybe be a different story. Maybe I'd try and utilize it a little bit, but I don't think I can. Just too stupid. Nah. Nah. Yeah, at this point I'm just I'm just committed. Plus No, we we can't we just can't pivot out of Ethereal. That 20 base damage is too important. Because our flat melee it'd be a different story if our flat melee was higher. This is a great representative of why flat melee is good. This is the equivalent of having 20 flat melee on this. Pretty big deal. I don't know if I'm going to, you know. Thank you. You beautiful, beautiful fool. Still not capped. Some, somehow, I feel like I've been taking everything, you know? We're able to take the sunglasses and have it not matter. 
I would have thought we'd be capped. The tardigrade is so nice, though. So one, one attack that actually makes it to me doesn't actually make it to me. The addition of that item single-handedly makes me think this character is a lot better. Like, do I want to try and utilize my dodge stuff? Kind of. It's just... It's undeniably stupid. And I want to show also how much damage it would really even do. 91. 91 damage. 50% chance to do 91 damage. It has done a total of 500 damage. Let's take a look at something else here for, for reference. Um, yeah. There's a cyber ball for, for reference. 23,000 instead of 500. And I have 90% dodge. But no, no, it's it's 100%. It's a good item to uh, to use intentionally. No. If I had more flat melee, it'd be maybe a different story. Maybe, but probably not even. Probably not even. Oh, so close. Flat melee, nice. This is so annoying. take it. Do I think it's good? No, I don't. Sure. Take some percent damage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What do we not get? Cool. Good to know. You there. Perish. Good. All right. I'll take a hit. Nullified. So one of those would have hit me. That was a really fun run. It was terrifying, but that was a really fun run. Uh, wow. I, di I didn't anticipate it to be, like, as fun, but I think that this character... It's a, it's a double up of the character. Obviously, you know, it's even more risky. Minus 200 armor. It's not extremely different from minus 100, but it, it really is, though, because... It really is. It's a weird thing with diminishing returns on the numbers where it doesn't look like, you know, going from like a 90% to a 93%. You have to think like that extra percentage when you've already removed that much of it, it is still making the same percentage difference. It is. So it's scary, but it was also way easier to hit the cap and it was way more ethereal weapons. I, hell, I'm going to go on record. I'm going to say that I almost kind of wish that this just was the ghost. You know, I kind of wish that that was the ghost. I think that the 10 flat damage on Ethereal works well, but starting with 60 with a cap of 90 felt... It felt good. It felt right. It made the character really, really fun. Um, and I don't know. Yeah. Does it need the, the plus 20 damage? I don't think so. But I, I like the six, 60 dodge but minus 200 armor angle. I thought it was kind of cool. I liked it. That was a fun one. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel for Roguelix more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.